Yeah, well, I've, before Hunt and I talked about it last night, uh, and I'm all about being creative, too. I, I think, you know, any time you can get creative and to, to help win a ball game, you should do it. So uh, I think it's important that you do stay open-minded. And there's been some changes in the game, and, that's, of course, that's one of them, uh, using an opener. And, you know, that's going to be driven by your personnel, your roster. You, you see where you're at, and uh, if you have to, you know, in your mind, have to do it to give you a better chance to win the ball game. I'm all for it. That's that's why we're here to win. And uh, but again, getting back to what we're talking about, it's it's about being creative. And uh, and we've always tried to be, uh, you know, and and and, and be open-minded. Uh, so you know, it's nice to have new ideas and new thoughts. And uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, we can bounce things. Um, around to, to where you know we can get creative and you know to help win a ball game. Yeah, I, it, it probably will be. To be honest, uh, you know, you got to you know sit down with the players. Uh, Say, listen, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna uh, probably do things a little bit different. Sometimes, uh, uh, you know, roles won't quite be as defined, possibly. Uh, um, and but that's always been the case in baseball. You know, it's probably you know a little more common today, uh, especially when you're you know you're trying to uh, get more versatility, more flexibility on your roster, and so. You know, you you want them to have a heads up, and not be surprised by anything, and and also uh, just remind them that you know, best way to get where we want to go is you know to have an unselfish attitude. You know, just just do you know just whatever you think uh, uh, or what we think uh, is the best way to, to win a ball game, and uh, you got to get them to you know to buy into this. And uh, but you know, we have a good group, a good, good group uh, character guys. That I don't see that being an issue. Yeah, um, and these are things we will talk about as we go into spring training. Uh, their workload, uh, these two kids did a great job, and, you know, they they got in an area they haven't been before. So it's going to be important we take a, uh, take good care of them, keep a watchful eye on them, and, uh, you know, maybe at times skip them a start or, you know, if there's a spot in the game where I can limit uh, some workload, then yeah, it's – is something I'd like to do uh, for them, uh, for their future, and for for ours. Yeah, uh, the first part of the question. I mean, that's a it's a hard question to answer because you you don't know if it played a part uh, in you know the, the uh, velocity. But uh, you know, I'll say this about Madison. Man. I, I, he is just amazing on on his desire to get better. Uh, uh, you know, whether it's tweak his mechanics, uh, getting better. It's hard to get in better shape, but uh, I mean his. His work ethic is off the chart, and that's why he, he is what he is. And uh, so um, I can't say he's, there's something definite that he's doing, but I, I can assure you he is working, and, uh, you know, he's going to come in like he did last spring. Now, I know you, you talk, you're you talking about over the season uh, about the uh, velocity. I thought last spring was really Madison uh, – you know, from a couple of years ago. And it's just unfortunate what happened there when uh, he broke his hand because it looked like he was just primed to go in and have a, a real nice year. So, um, but, you know, he's young, he's strong, he's smart, and uh, he has ability uh, to adjust. And so I'm not going to be surprised, uh, you know, if he's done something to, you know, tweak his uh, delivery, whatever. Not that I think he needs to. This guy, he, he's still really, really good.
What stood out to you about your early conversation with him and his approach to Well, I, I think what, what you were just talking about, uh, I mean, he's, uh, we all know he's very, very bright. He's got, uh, uh, you know, some new ideas. He's very creative, uh, uh, very into analytics, but, uh, you know, he has deep respect for people in the baseball, on the uh, scouting side, development side. Uh, he's a listener. Uh, you know, he he's the man in charge, but, uh, you know, he wants to hear what you have to say, and uh, he respects that. And uh, so, you know, he's, he, I think he keeps a balance. It, it, you know, it's not his way or the highway from what I uh, see in early go here that uh, he, he – he wants to get all the information he can, and uh, some things you can't quantify, you know, whether it's uh, leadership, how you prepare for a game, your character, things like that. And these are things he, he wants to know about, too. Yeah, uh, I mean, what a great job he did for us. He was really a, really a pleasure to manage. Uh, He's just so professional how he goes about his business, shows up every day, plays every day. Uh, uh, he leads by example how he plays the game, uh, uh, how hard he plays. I mean, he, he uh, gives you everything he's got when he's out there. Uh, uh, but in the clubhouse, he's very, uh, very well respected, and uh, he's a guy they have a lot of fun with. Uh, so uh, he, he brought a lot to our club. I know it wasn't a great year for us, but you look at what he, he did, his body of work, uh, you know, we hung in there despite a lot of things that happened, and I think that was because of him. Yeah, you know, Bags, uh, I, I think we're going to stay open-minded on this too, and uh, I, you know, I'll sit down with uh, Depend Will uh, in particular, but. Uh, you know, right now, we don't have any roles uh, defined, so to speak. Uh, I think it's a little early for that. But, you know, he has shown he can close, uh, just like um, Lance and Dyson. I mean, we, we have a few guys uh, that, you know, are going to uh, be involved late in the ball game. And Watson, I'm sorry, sorry about forgetting him. But uh, so, you know, I, I think I'd like to keep uh, open-minded about this and our options uh, on all these guys. No, I, I've been been up in the uh, war room, so to speak. Uh, we've been meeting uh, about uh, different possibilities, so uh, I don't think there's a rush on uh, on some things. Uh, I know Farhan has talked to you about that, and the thing you don't want to do is feel like you have a, 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 a sense of urgency that something has to be d uh, done now to to show that you're doing something. You you want to go about it in the right way and. Uh, and that's what I, I think we're doing. I think that's what he's doing, getting all the information he can. And, uh, you know, there's some pretty good uh, options out there. It could be via trade, could be free agency. Uh, uh, so, no, I, I, I'm not concerned right now. And just as a follow-up, um, when you sit in the war room and, and hear the conversations, you get a definitive sense of what direction he's trying to push the team in terms of which acquisitions he makes? Yeah, I, well, I... I I mean, he's he's trying to get us, uh, uh, you know, uh, more athletic, more versatile. Uh, uh, he's trying to give me more options, uh, you know, uh, during a game. Um, so he's uh, he's trying to do all those uh, uh, things that you do with the club. That's that's probably getting a little bit older, and uh, you know, coming off a tough year. That you know, we we need to um, add some offense here, but uh, also you know, have some versatility where. You know, we, we have a little more depth than we had last year. I think that showed that, you know, that hurt us uh, with the injuries. We, we just didn't quite have the depth that you, you need to, you know, be a first division club. Yeah, well, we've talked about that. Yeah, no, it, yeah, I mean, it's... 
I think that's a priority, the, the power to slug him, I, I should say, uh, because, you know, the doubles and triples, you know, and you hear me talk about that. That's That was missing, too. And you look at where we were and as far as in the league, uh, we were at the bottom uh, with the offense. Uh, I mean, we were 29th or 30th in a lot of these areas. Uh, we got some work to do. And uh, But as he has mentioned, uh, you know, when when you have spots in the outfield where you can find that, it's a little bit easier. And so... Um, that's that's what I'm encouraged about. That uh, you know we can add some offense in that outfield and uh, and um, you know help in other areas on the bench, for example. Uh, uh, when I again I talk about depth, so uh, but it's it's a need, no question. Yeah, yeah, this is really something we've talked about the last couple of years. Uh, uh, you look at the second halves of uh, what happened last year, the year before, and this year. I mean, the numbers, you know, they go down. And you look at, well, why? Is it conditioning or they need more rest? So, um, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a believer in that. I think you look at, you know, the games played. Uh, we don't have guys that you know, are going out there 150-plus games uh uh, so we, I think we're doing a pretty good job of giving that rest. Some of it is forced because of injuries, no question. But uh, you know, Crawl's the one guy I know that uh, you know we we work him pretty good. But uh, really, beside that, uh, you know, last time a guy played every game was Hunter Pence, and I, I can't remember what year that was, but uh, that's probably six, seven years ago. And uh, but beside that, we really haven't had a guy out there grinding it for 150 or so. And it does keep him fresh. It keeps everybody involved, and I, I totally agree with that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I am. I am. Uh, you know, just looking at him, talking to him, uh, I, th I think he's really encouraged. Uh, you know, early go, that's pretty tough rehab. And uh, I know he's uh, feeling really good about where he's at right now. Uh, um, come January, uh, around the middle of the month, he can start running sprints. And, you know, that's the big test there. And, of course, getting down and catching pitchers. So, um, and we normally, uh, you know, work him in easy. Uh, and, you know, in spring training, but uh, you know, this will be a spring. I'll rely on him, how he feels, and uh, and we expect him to be ready to go. I can't tell you how much we can catch him, but uh, you know, I uh, that's a tough one to answer. But um, I, you know, my hope is that you know, this is uh, he's going to be able to maintain his, his strength during the course of a season, and not just a season, a game. Last year, you could see it catch up with him in that sixth, seventh inning where he, he wore down. So I think he's excited about that. Uh, my question was also about Posey. It's really a two-part question. Uh, first of all, are your expectations going to change uh, based on your conversations with Farhan on his catching versus first base? And the second part of the question is, not, uh, you know, he's going to be healthier because of this surgery, but he's also going to be 32. Do you have expectations that – uh, a healthy Posey at 32 uh, can return to sort of the, the form, uh, slugging form that would enable him to be a bona fide three, four hitter. Yeah, um, I, I think uh, uh, this surgery uh, is all giving us, you know, a, including Buster, a little bit more hope on the, on the hitting side that uh, now he's going to be able to fire those hips like uh, he used to. Uh, he was he just wasn't able to do it. So uh, now as you get older, uh, especially for a catcher, uh, you know, it's hard to say, well, he's going to get back to what, what he was at 23, 24. But uh, I think he'll get very close to what uh, he normally does with the bat. And um, and that's with the catching part, too, uh, you know, holding up. And I, I just uh, I think we're going to see a different player because we're going to see a, a healthy Posey. I mean, if you're a catcher and you got a bad hip, I mean, it's. 
It's it's game's hard enough to play, and, uh, and he had a micro fracture in there too, and, and we didn't know that until they went in there, and uh, so he, you know, it was a little worse than we thought. Oh, um, you know what? That's my job is to keep this guy fresh, uh, you know, and, and so he probably will play a little bit more first base, uh, uh, especially with the left handers. I can't tell you, you know, what the team's going to be right now. I mean, we need another catcher. And uh, um, but I think uh, between playing first base and getting his days off, if you look at his track record, he's he's usually around 120 games you know 125 when he's healthy so you know we'll we'll keep him probably in that ballpark but you know he may need a few more days off what was your sort of reaction to panic being extended the contract or bringing to a contract like how do you kind of project him going forward knowing you've seen him obviously as a productive player and then last year with the overall yeah you know i think you look at joe and you look at what he had to battle last year uh I mean, with the injuries, uh, really the last couple of years, you know, between the hip, I know his back, he, his thumb, he broke. And uh, so, you know, the, the, the great thing about our game, it's a new slate. And, uh, and that's what Joe's got to be excited about. Uh, he's, last year's behind him, and uh, he's coming fresh. And, uh, I mean, this guy can hit. And um, he's he's got to, you know, be excited about just being healthy again and uh, so this is a you know a big year for Joe I think uh, you know to show that he can get back to being the player that that we know and that's being a healthy guy that can you know play second base and swing the bat well. Well, I think anytime you have you know, a great player or pitcher, uh, you know, you have to have uh, you know, a high level of interest. And uh, so, you know, this is a name that had, they know about. He's been discussed. Uh, um, you know, so just like a lot of clubs, you know, and probably most clubs, you know, there's a high level of interest because of the talent of this pitcher. So, you know, we're, we're in that mix, too, as far as uh, how good we feel about him. What I oh you, you you know you look at the talent yeah you know a pitcher like this is he's going to make you a better club but again these are not my decisions. Then a what? I heard the first part. Um. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, to be honest, it is a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's some things you got to think about. Uh, you know, you playing the World Series, you're playing in November, so you know you, you got to you know be con a little concerned about the fatigue. You got to be a little concerned about sometimes maybe a little complacency. Uh, guys, uh, uh, you know, took it easy in the winter because it was a short winter, and uh, uh, you got to be concerned about pitchers' arms and things like that. So um, I. I think uh, it is a little bit different. And we, believe me, we talk about all these things, but, you know, the following year, for some reason, you know, we, we had a tough year. Uh, and then we would bounce back. So, uh, but it's, that's, that's a, a grind of a season when you go to the World Series. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's a long postseason now, longer than it used to be, and uh, um, you know every year's different. Uh, how you know what you're going to get from your players? It's like last year. You know we felt good going into the season, uh, and if our guys would have their normal years and stay healthy, we would we would have a nice year. That didn't happen. Uh, some years everything goes your way. You know it could ball bounce your way or calls and things or. Guys, just get those two out hits uh, that you need. Uh, so you know it shows you how balanced and really how tough this game is. Oh, I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might pinch hit in the first.
He have uh, the labrum, but uh, yeah, that's what we were told. Yeah, but uh, he had a little one in there. 